Hello friends in learning of hypothesis testing so far we have learned detailed introduction of hypothesis testing including all terms and concepts used in it as well as general procedure to conduct hypothesis testing with the help of practical example in this video we are going to learn all types of hypothesis testing and selection of correct type of test based on the situation for correct analysis of data with the help of practical example for easy understanding and better clarity so let's begin types of hypothesis test as we know a hypothesis test is the rule that specifies whether to accept or reject a claim about a population depending on the evidence provided by the sample of data a hypothesis test examines two opposing hypotheses about a population the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis that is in each test we compare two things to draw some conclusion based on the number of samples in comparison types of data and metric we are going to compare like mean standard deviation and proportion there are multiple types of hypothesis test based on number of samples used in hypothesis testing there are three main types of test one compare one sample with the target two compare two samples with each other and three compare more than two samples let's understand further selection criteria for each of these test for types of data and different metrics Based on this we will use most appropriate test for our analysis. One compare one sample with a target. If you want to compare one sample data with the target then one sample hypothesis test are used for it. The first selection criteria for one sample test is type of data. There are two types of data continuous and attributive. Continuous data this type of data measures a characteristic of a part or process such as length weight or temperature the data often include fractional or decimal values for example a food manufacturer wants to investigate whether the weight of seed product is consistent over time to collect data a quality engineer records the weights from the sample of cereal boxes attribute data counts the number of defective atoms or the number of defects per unit count data are the whole numbers for example inspectors for a light bulb manufacturer wants to track the number of broken bulbs that is defective atoms over time to collect data the inspectors examine each light bulb from a sample and assess whether it is a broken they record the number of broken bulbs in each sample let's say the data is continuous then the second selection criteria will be what are you comparing if you are comparing mean versus target use one sample t test and if you want to compare standard deviation versus target use one sample standard deviation test for example if an inspector wants to determine whether the mean diameter of rims equal to target diameter of 16 inches then use one sample t test whereas if a distributor wants to determine whether the standard deviation of the wooden beam lens in saw mill is less than maximum allowable value of 0.5 cm then use one sample standard deviation test in this case if you know the population standard deviation you can use one sample z test now let's say the data is attributed then the second selection criteria will be what are you comparing if you are comparing percentage defectives versus target use one sample percentage defective test and if you want to compare percents in each outcome category versus target use chi square goodness of fit test for example if the quality engineer wants to determine whether the percentage of defective bolts is less than the target value of 0.2 percentage then use one sample percentage defective test whereas if an analyst wants to determine whether the percentage of overdue invoices in each category such as 15 days or less 16 to 30 days and more than 30 days are differs from its target percentage then use chi square goodness of fit test to compare two samples with each other if you want to compare two samples data with each other then two sample hypothesis test are used for it the first selection criteria for two sample test is also the type of data let's say the data is continuous then the second selection criteria will be what are you comparing If you are comparing two standard deviations between two samples 
then use two sample standard deviation test and if you want to compare mean of two samples then use two sample t test or pair t test for example if the distributor measures the length of wooden beams from two sawmills to determine whether the consistency of beam lengths is different then he will use two sample standard deviation test but if you want to compare mean of two samples then third selection criteria comes in picture and that is measurements made on if the measurements made on two different set of atoms that is independent atoms then use two sample t test and if the measurements made on the same set of atoms that is dependent atoms then use pair t test for example if a health management company wants to compare overall patient satisfaction ratings at two hospitals then they have to use two sample t test whereas if a quality engineer wants to compare the force that is required to turn bearing with a coating and without a coating on the same bearing then he has to use pair t test now let's say the data is attribute then the second selection criteria will be what are you comparing if you are comparing percent defectives in two samples then use two sample percentage defective test and if you want to compare percents in each outcome category in two samples then use chi square test for association for example an engineer wants to determine whether the percentage of mishandled packages differs for two processes then he will use two sample percentage defective test whereas if an analyst wants to determine whether the percentage of overdue invoices in each category such as 15 days or less 16 to 30 days and more than 30 days are differs before and after they increase the late fees then he will use chi square test for association 3 compare more than two samples if you want to compare more than two samples data then the test used earlier will not be useful we have to use multiple sample hypothesis test for it in this selection process again the first selection criteria is type of data let's say that the data is continuous then the second selection criteria will be what are you comparing if you are comparing mean for more than two samples then use one way anova test and if you want to compare standard deviations for more than two samples then use standard deviations test for example if quality engineer wants to determine whether the paint hardness differs depending on the four types of paint blends used to conclude whether the means are different then he will use one way anova test whereas if a distributor wants to compare the variation of wooden beams lengths that are cut by the three different sawmills then he will use the standard deviations test now let's say the data is attributed then the second selection criteria will be what are you comparing if you are comparing percentage defectives in more than two samples then use chi square percentage defective test and if you want to compare percents in each outcome category in more than two samples then use chi square test for association for example an engineer examines sample of bolts from four machines for several cracks that makes the bolts unusable if he wants to determine whether the percentage defective differs for each machine then he will use chi square percentage defective test whereas if an analyst wants to determine whether the percentage of overdue invoices in each category such as 15 days or less 16 to 30 days and more than 30 days are differs among four different sales region then he will use chi square test for association this is all about types of hypothesis testing and selection of correct type of test based on the situation for correct analysis of the data with the help of practical examples we will see detailed learning of each type of test in analysis with practical examples from the next videos for references i have taken this very detailed content from minitab this is one of the best sources to learn hypothesis testing now to end please like this video if you have found it useful add your valuable comments and share this video to your friends and colleagues to improve and refresh their knowledge if you want to get updates of such a videos from my channel please do not forget to subscribe it and click on the bell icon and select to get all notifications and finally thank you for watching